and my speculation about the release date for Uncover iOS 14 jailbreak is five days. That's when you should expect a jailbreak. Few hours ago, Modern Poner posted, I'm still here, hashtag Uncover. While everyone was thinking he left and the tool Uncover will not be updated anymore, he was silently working in background developing and updating Uncover to support iOS 14 to 14.3. And so that's why in this video, we are talking about the release date, the progress that he's made, hidden messages in tweets, and my speculation about the release date. But first, I want to show you this groundbreaking tweet from Team Uncover, which reminds you to smash the like button for YouTube algorithm that's totally not photoshopped. Alrighty, welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Updates. This isn't your usual episode. This is pretty serious stuff. A huge update. Apparently, news about Uncover iOS 14 to 14.3. First thing I want to clear off right away to get you all hyped up, this may be my last jailbreak update video. Because of what's happened today, we are so close to an actual jailbreak, the next video I'm going to upload will be a direct Uncover iOS 14 to 14.3 no PC jailbreak tutorial. And I have several reasons to support what I've said. And we are also going to talk about some fake jailbreaks and why you should stay away from them. I'm going to break down every single thing. This will be a fully detailed jailbreak update episode. Let's do this. Then 12 minutes later, well, it was not 12, but hey, who cares? He posted, Syria looking good on iPhone 12 Pro Max, hashtag uncover. And we were like, hypothetically, if you look at this, it means, hey, he's working on the jailbreak, but there is a lot of more hidden stuff in this tweet. So. Modern Poner clearly didn't give them permissions to use their exploit. If we go here, you can see they only give permissions to Coolstar to modify and use the exploit for Odyssey jailbreak. And that simply means they updated everything on their own. They rewrote the whole exploit, got libhooker to work or substitute and gain SSH, whatever that means. They also added Cydia, which all combines a lot of work. So that means they are not announcing that they are going to update Uncover to support iOS 14 to 14.3. In fact, they already did that. They have been working on this project for quite some time now. And with these tweets, we can confirm that. And that simply means they in fact have the whole jailbreak thingy ready. And they are just fixing some bugs, preparing for the release. Isn't that awesome? And by the way, if you're still watching, Please leave that banana emoji thingy in the comment section down below so that I can know how many actual handsome faces like you watch my videos because the YouTube studio app tells a different story. It takes a lot of time, effort into making these videos and fun fact, it takes 4 hours to edit a video, 2 hours to script one and so after that he said system wide tweak injection is fully working on A14 hashtag and cover. This sounds so fancy and if you don't understand what the heck this means, look, if I can understand it, it's definitely not intermediate. And how do you pronounce that thing? This is the single best news I've heard in 69 years, although I'm 14. They got freaking tweaks to work on iOS 14 to 14.3 with a new uncovered jailbreak and I can bet the lower dollar in my pocket. This jailbreak is coming in less than a week and maybe even tomorrow. Yes, on Sunday. This is what I think. And again, this is just what I think. We'll talk more about the release date at the end of this video. And so after that, Sam Binger, a great guy, security researcher, uh, one from Uncover team. He tweeted, his tweak seems to be working okay on iOS 14 with iPhone 12 Pro and all that kind of stuff. He shows that his tweak is working perfectly fine. And you can see this is not something that's available with iOS. So he installed a tweak. And if we go to the next image, if we zoom in, as you can see over here, iPhone 13.3, iOS 14.3. Now what this means? iPhone 13.3 is basically iPhone 12 Pro, as he mentioned, and you can also search up on Google. On iOS 14.3, Cydia running perfectly fine. Now, there is one thing to it. Many of you will say that Oh no, we can jailbreak iOS 14.3 with CheckRain. But hey, you can't do that on the latest iPhone 12 Pro. But CheckRain only supports iPhone 6 to iPhone 10. And this simply means that they have uncovered beta with Cydia running perfectly fine on iPhone 12 Pro. The next thing, 
before it slips out of my mind, I would advise you to stay away from these fake jailbreaks. Like this one here, poison jailbreak or potion jailbreak, whatever the heck it is. Now, there are a lot of jailbreaks like this, like this jailbreak and the one which Maverick Dev made. This is not something you have to fall for. Now, as you can see, they are tweeting random stuff here. But if we go down, they uploaded this. And if we see it here, iPhone 11 4, iPhone 12 Pro Max. Awesome. This is a fake Photoshop screenshot. And like everyone in the jailbreak community is saying to stay away from people like these. So please, 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 I would highly suggest you to use only trusted jailbreaks like Uncover, Odyssey, because many, many people are working on those jailbreaks and they have quite some experience now. Odyssey, a great jailbreak. Uncover, also a great jailbreak. Both of these are updating. And by the way, if you want Odyssey jailbreak news, stay tuned till the end of this video for release date, news and so much more. In the tweet train, they also posted, we wrote our own exploit based on CVE 2021-1782 for Uncovered to achieve optimal exploit speed and stability. Now, this means that they're working really hard on Uncovered to work on iOS 14 without a PC and all the crap, you know how that works. But they even rewrote the whole exploit just for the purpose of speed and stability. How awesome it could be. Like fake jailbreaks, like one from Maverick Dev, they are trying to use the same exploit, but awesome jailbreaks like Uncover are rewriting the exploit that has already been written just to achieve optimal exploit speed and stability. That's really awesome. And by the way, uh, on the license tab here on the GitHub page, you can see they didn't give Uncover permissions to use the exploit. Maybe that could be the reason why they are rewriting the whole exploit. But this, this thing is really great. And by the way, listen me up here. All of these things which Team Uncover is doing, like first of all, they didn't post it anything. They didn't mention that they're going to update Uncover or not. But out of a sudden, out of a blue, they came out of nowhere and said, hey, we are updating Uncover. Now we'll talk about the release date and all that stuff, but this is really great. They are focusing on updating their tool, not posting stuff like here Team Odyssey is doing. Now here, as you can see, this is their official Twitter handle. And if we scroll down, you can see Odyssey running on cars, or Odyssey running outside windows, Odyssey running then this, pr pr like what is going on? I, I like, I don't have any qualms. They are posting memes. That's all right. We can negotiate that, but only when they're getting some real work done, like posting about, hey, we achieved this and then posting five memes. That's all right. That's fair play. But they are just doing nothing and posting memes. Like, don't get me wrong. Odyssey is a really great jailbreak. Coolstar is a really talented developer, but they should stop doing this stuff because we are following Odyssey for jailbreak updates. And whenever anyone asks them about, hey, any ETA, they say people are begging over ETAs. This sounds a bit rude. Then why are we following them on the first place? Here you go. So talking about the release date for Uncovered Jailbreak, my speculation is around one to five days. It could be as soon as Sunday or it may take like a week more. But expect a jailbreak this week. Yes, like literally, Point to own himself tweeted, tweak injection working, Sam Binger also said, hey, I have the beta, everything working fine, I'm testing tweaks. This simply means that everything is going perfectly fine and like if Sam Binger has a beta of Uncover, yes, because they are testing on devices to work, we don't need to think about that. But if he has a beta, that means the development stage is done. All they are doing now is testing their tool and bug fixes and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, one to five days is just my guess. And now those who want Odyssey jailbreak updates for whatever reason, here you go. Yesterday, Paranaf said he will release the pre-jailbreak exploit thingy for security researchers and people who want to make a jailbreak out of it. He in fact did it. The pre-jailbreak is out. Anyone can uh, use it with Xcode and mess up with the code and all that stuff. 
but Odyssey, not in cover, only Odyssey will use this pre-jailbreak to make a full jailbreak out of it. And Coolstar himself said, after the pre-jailbreak will release, it would take them about a week. And now it's been a day since the pre-jailbreak thingy is released. So expect Odyssey to be updated as soon as six or seven days. Now all we have to see which jailbreak will release the fastest. And many people ask me how they can stay on top with the jailbreak news. How they can be notified as soon as a jailbreak comes out. A security researcher tweets about, hey, we have this. Hey, we have this. All you have to do is go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Like literally, it, it sounds too much on the side of the spectrum where it will just help me increase these Twitter followers. But no, I'm, I like genuinely want you to get the latest jailbreak news and all that stuff. Like I just tweet about that stuff. Here you can see jailbreak news, jailbreak news. I retweet this, I retweet this and all that stuff. I, I don't tweet random memes. Okay, if you want, I'll link it down in the description below. Follow me on Twitter and press the bell icon thingy on Twitter so that you stay on top with the jailbreak news. Yeah, either way, that's been it. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Drop a like down below if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.